New York is going clean. January 25th was a big day for clean energy in New York after the Long Island Power Authority approved a contract for what's set to be the largest offshore wind farm in the U.S. Deepwater Wind is building a 90-megawatt wind farm near Long Island's South Fork Peninsula. The $740 million U.S. dollar project will have as many as 15 turbines capable of powering up to 50,000 homes. The turbines, each about 600 feet tall, will be connected via an undersea cable to a substation in East Hampton. Construction could begin by 2019, with the wind farm completed and operational by as early as 2022. The project is part of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's vision to source 50 percent of the state's electricity from renewables within 13 years. Keep watching for more stories about clean energy. This solar panel runs on bacteria power. Researchers at Binghamton University have come up with an interesting way to harness energy using a resource we have far too much of, bacteria. To harness power from bacteria, scientists arrange nine biosolar cells in a 3 by 3 pattern to form a scalable and stackable panel. The cells use cyanobacteria, which can be found in aquatic and terrestrial habitats, as a source of clean and sustainable energy. In the daytime, oxygen and electrons are released through photosynthetic reactions. At night, electrons are produced from the bacteria's respiratory activities. 5.59 microwatts were generated in 12-hour day-to-night cycles over a total of 60 hours. Solar panels produce about 200 watts in a 6x10 configuration. The biosolar cells in the same pattern will only generate 3.726 one hundred thousandth watts. Though not the most efficient, the technology has the potential to be a more reliable energy source. Once the panel is functional, it could power small wireless systems in remote areas where frequent battery changes are impractical. The Binghamton team's work has been published in the journal Sensors and Actuators B Chemical. New form of burial freeze dries bodies and turns them into plant food. A Swedish and an Irish company have developed new forms of burial that are more eco-friendly than traditional methods. Swedish company Promisa Organic has developed a method by which the human body is converted into soil that can sustain plant life. The process is similar to that of freeze drying. First, the body is frozen to minus 18 degrees Celsius and submerged in liquid nitrogen. Under such low temperatures, soft and elastic materials become hard and brittle. The body is then refrozen to minus 196 degrees Celsius, causing crystallization. After two hours, the liquid nitrogen evaporates as a harmless nitrogen gas. 60 seconds of ultrasonic vibration reduces the remains to powder. The powder is passed to a vacuum-sealed chamber where frozen water subliminates and is released as steam. Afterwards, mercury, sodium, and more than 50 other foreign substances are removed. The remains are packed into an organic coffin and buried. After a year, the remains turn into soil, which can feed a tree. Irish company Eco Legacy offers a similar burial service, with the exception that the energy that is expelled is reused in future burial processes. Both processes are more ecologically friendly than traditional burial and cremation. In traditional burial, coffins and chemicals are introduced into the environment. In cremation, energy is wasted in the form of heat and toxins are released to reduce the body into ashes. Cameroon turns human waste into clean power. Two towns in Cameroon are installing biogas systems to turn human waste into sustainable energy that can provide fuel and electricity for local communities. Organic material such as animal waste is placed inside an airtight tank where bacteria and archaea break down the material. This releases biogas, which is a byproduct that is a mixture of mostly methane with some carbon dioxide. The biogas can be stored and burned as a fuel for cooking and to power electricity generators, while the rest of the waste can be used as fertilizer. The biogas system installed in Cameroon connects a septic tank to biodigesters linked to individual households. Human waste placed in the septic tank is converted into biogas by the biodigesters, and this releases energy into people's homes. 
More than 3,000 households and local schools in two towns have reportedly installed the biogas system. It is estimated that the project may reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the vicinity by up to 60%. The project was initiated by Bioenergy Cameroon, a non-governmental youth organization. The group trains local students, especially female students, on how innovative technology like solar power and biogas work. Amazon is constructing a wind farm that contains 100 turbines. Amazon has announced a new project that aims to result in renewable energy that will power thousands of homes across America. Amazon Wind Farm Texas is underway. The diameter of each wind turbine will be two times the wingspan of a Boeing 747 plane. The farm in Scurry County, West Texas, will be comprised of more than 100 wind turbines in total. The wind turbines will generate an estimated 100,000 megawatt hours of wind energy every year, enough to power close to 90,000 homes in the United States. The latest development by the company, along with four other clean energy projects, should generate 2.6 million megawatt hours of energy each year to power more than 240,000 homes. Solar-powered computer can provide water, energy, and internet. The developers of a 15-ton solar-powered computer hope it can change the lives of millions in developing countries. The Spanish and Italian creators of the Watley machine aim to provide clean water, electricity, and connectivity. Trials have already taken place in sub-Saharan Africa, where millions live without electricity and clean water. A prototype Watley machine has been tested in rural Ghana, and developers plan more trials in Nigeria and Sudan. The final design of the solar-powered 40-meter-high, 15-ton Watley machine will be presented in July. Photovoltaic panels power an internal battery, which provides energy for a graphene-based water treatment system. The developers say the system can supply 5,000 liters of safe drinking water per day. The Watley machine can provide wireless internet connectivity within a radius of 800 meters. Electricity created by the battery can also be used to charge electronic devices. The number of people living without electricity in sub-Saharan Africa stands at around 625 million. More than 300 million sub-Saharan Africans also lack access to clean drinking water. Wadley's creators say the machine will have a lifespan of 15 years. They hope it can have a huge social and economic impact, especially in Africa, by bringing clean water and energy to millions of the world's poorest people.